Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about the KU. Okay, but here it is uh, different. We are going to approach qualitative way, not quantitative way. In my previous lecture, I was discussing uh, quantitative approach. Okay, we just compare the values of PKA so we can able to decide which is strong acid and which is weak, weak acid, right? Now, we are going to predict, okay, we are not going to give any value for PKA, but we are going to predict the PKA, whether it going to be low or high, okay? Let's just begin with an example, okay? I'll take HCL, okay? This is on deprotonation leaves out chloride ion now i am going to focus on the chloride ion why because uh, whether it is uh, stable or not why because based on this we are going to predict this uh, acid is going to be a strong acid or a weak acid let's just focus on the anion this anion is uh, is stabilized right it can be stabilized on its own why? Because it's electronegativity. So, electronegativity plays a major role on deciding the acid as uh, whether it is weak or strong. So, this is stable and it is going to be, okay, whenever the anion, anion if the anion is stable, it is going to be a weak base okay and its corresponding acid going to be strong acid so if this can be stabilized on its own then this acid must be a strong acid do you get my point okay Let's just focus on another example. It will be easier for you to understand better. Let's just take this example. Okay, this is a simple butane, right? So, this is on deprotonation. We will be getting this, right? So, this conjugate base, now we are, we are going to compare. Here it is a uh, previous case. In previous case, it was chloride ion, right? Now it is carbon. If you compare carbon and chlorine, which is more electronegative, chlorine is more electronegative than carbon. Okay, carbon is not very electronegative at all. So what happens? This cannot be stabilized on its own. Okay, so I'm gonna write this is less stable. Okay, this is less stable and uh, what about the uh, uh, base base character whether it is a weak base or a strong base this is going to be a strong base and the corresponding acid going to be weak acid okay so what is what do you need to know you need to know about the electronegativity of atoms Okay, so if you know the electronegativity of atoms, you can able to compare easily. Okay, so this is going to be weak acid and this is going to be strong acid. Now, we are not considering any pKa value. We are just giving the prediction, okay, which, uh, which uh, among these two, which could be the one, which could be the strong acid. So, the uh, this is how it can be done. Next. I am going to give you another example. Okay, it's just a generalized form of this one. Of about thing. Let's consider this one. Okay, now we are, uh, acidity is actually a comparison, right? If you talk about acidity, you are comparing two compounds, two acids. Okay, I'll give you the uh, clue, okay, because it's, it's a generalized form. This is acid 1 and this is acid 2, right? So, uh, let's just consider uh, this is less stabilized anion. I'm sorry, this is going to be minus less stabilized 
anion and this is more stabilized anion okay so uh, based on the stability you can say if it is less stabilized this is going to be strong base right if it is more stabilized this is going to be weak base if it is a strong base conjugate base this is going to be the corresponding acid going to be weak acid right if this is a weak conjugate base then it is going to be strong acid now i can just write my conclusion hb is strong acid right highly acidic than hu so this is how it can be done you just take and it is a, a, a short um, it, it's it's an idea it's an idea for the prediction okay thank you